Hi guys, my name is Becca, and I'm here with a video that I have never truly done before. Like, I've never done this before. And I never thought I would ever be doing this before. Like, when I ever thought about doing this, like, I ha I'd have to do this for school. But I never thought I'd want to do this with, like, my personal collection. And when I thought about doing it before, I, I just, I could never do it. Um, and what I'm talking about is annotating books, like writing in books, highlighting, like sticky notes, like sticky tabs I've done, um, but I've never actually like written in books or like highlighted and stuff like that. Like, I've done sticky tabs because I knew if I really wanted to, I could take those out. But once you mark a book, you can't take that back. And I never thought I'd be doing this. But I have really been thinking about it, and I've been watching um, Julie over Pages and Pens, and um, Chloe over Books with Chloe, and then also April uh, from Aprilius Maximus. She's just started doing it, and she got inspiration from Chloe from Books with Chloe. So, like, they started doing it, and actually now it, it seems appealing. Like, I... There are times where I go back and start reading a book, like, I don't remember anything that happened. And I know if I took the time and I started maybe annotating it and, like, writing in the margins and, you know, like, just really, um, like, just really marking it with my opinions and my thoughts, I would probably, you know, have more of a love for it, even though I've heard, I already love all of these books. And I just feel like it would be a whole nother level if I started doing that. So I'm here telling you guys I think I'm going to start doing it. So I have like a whole pile of books here of ones that um, I could possibly do. Oh, I didn't mean to grab this one, but it's okay. Like these are books that they're never going to move. Like they're never going to leave me. I have always felt like I didn't want to do it because I didn't want to do it with new books. Like. I don't think I'm ever going to do it with a book that I've just read. Like, I just started reading. It would have to be a book that I, I'm rereading. So, it would have to be a book that I love, that I don't mind rereading. And that is why I'm marking. Like, that, then I know it's never leaving me. It's never going away. Um, because you never know. Like, you start marking a book and it could be awful and you'd want to get rid of it. And I don't feel right about getting rid of books that I mark. That, you know, it's in my that I have already gone and underlined so many things and put my own words in there and I just it has to be books that I love that are never going to leave my sight so let's do this so first off let's just go over my case that I'm putting all my stuff in so I just went to uh, the dollar store okay so I heard from Julie over at Pages and Pens the dollar store tabs are probably better. Now, I'm not sure if this is true, but I figured why the heck not? It's a dollar. Why not get it? There are uh, 150 sheets for a dollar, which isn't bad. I don't know how well the adhesive is going to be, like if it's going to stick better than like a Walmart one, because Walmart ones don't necessarily stick either. But I don't know. Is it like you pay for what you get kind of thing? So, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't opened it yet. I just pretty much went and got these. We'll see. If these aren't good, it's not so bad. I only wasted a dollar. Like, I'm not really gonna, you know, beat myself up about it. But we'll see. Like, and I know these aren't the ones that she's gotten. She, um, she gets those arrow ones, which I like those a lot. And I really want those. But these are the only ones that my dollar store had. I do want to see if I could take a trip to another dollar store and see if they have better ones or the ones that she has because I really like those. Um, but yeah, these are what I have to work with now. We'll see how they do. But I did get um, like all colors. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that whole like pink is for like spoon worthy moments or like I like actually how like Julie does it. Or, or Jules. I can't remember if she goes by Julie or Jules. 
I'm having a moment right now. But, um, I can't remember how she does it. I think she only does, uh, one color. And then she'll put another color in for, like, certain things. But it's mostly, it's mostly just that one color. So, yeah. And then I went out and got, um, also some highlighters in different colors. I don't know. I might just stick with the yellow. But I figured for a dollar, because, again, I got these from the dollar store. I did really want the thin ones. I don't like the thick ones. Um, so we'll see. I thought maybe, you know, if I do use the different colors, oh, and I dropped it. Uh, I, I did think maybe if I used the different colors, um, it would probably, like, be really neat if, like, I had a pink tab and then I, I'm, like, I highlighted that in pink kind of thing, you know? I don't know if that's going to work. We'll see. But I also have, um, so I have two different types of, like, pens. Like, I have, so these are all from, like, my bullet journaling days. <laughs> like, last year when I started bullet journaling and then I massively stopped. Um, I have some Sharpie pens that I've never really used. Because, again, like, I stopped. Like, I have multiple colors in these. Like, I got a pack. Um... So I have some greens. I, th I have more. Like, I know I have a... Okay, here's a black and a, and a pink. Um, so I have, like, a red, a pink, a purple, a brown, an orange. Um, some greens and, like, another blue. I think I have a darker blue, but... Oh, yeah, there's a yellow. Oh, my God. They're all at the bottom. So I got an orange... That's a highlighter. That's another highlighter. Uh, here's the yellow. <laughs> Probably should have taken all this out first. <sighs> oh, here's the blue. Okay, so here's the other blue. So I have like a whole stack of these that I could use if I wanted to. So, I don't know, maybe I'll use these instead of highlighters. We'll see what works better for me. Um, but also, I don't just have these types of pens. I also have um, the uh, the Stadler, Sadler. I don't remember what these are called. It has the name on it, but I don't remember how to pronounce it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so at least I got most of these out. So then I have just like a yellow, a blue, pink, a red, a black. So yeah, I have pretty much the same colors in just these types of pens. So they're the, uh, I want to call them Stadler, Stadler, I don't know. They're fine liner ones. I'm not entirely sure. So yeah, these are fine as well. You probably can't tell. You probably can't see that. Okay, but yeah, these seem fine as well, so I don't know which ones are going to be better. Like, I'm afraid that these are going to, like, seep through the page, and that would, like, really, really upset me. Also, um, I just have, like, some, like, a pencil, which, you know, I think would help. Um, here, let's try to put these back. But I also have, um like these pages for sticky notes like these are just like sticky pages um and they're all also in, do in different colors so that might be pretty good i'm not sure i just threw it in here i'm not entirely sure and then i got some like post-its again these are from the uh brick journaling days so not sure if those will work but those are what i have to work with so far I'm not sure, like, what's going to be the best. Oh. <sighs> Forgot about that. I don't know what's going to be the best thing for me, but I have options. So that'll work. So, yeah. All right. So now let's go through the books that I'm interested in annotating for the first time. So, obviously, I wouldn't be doing this video without my Sarah J. Mass books. So I have... Of course, her two series, the Akatar series, or the Akatar trilogy, and the uh, Throne of Glass series. 
obviously I would really love to annotate these so we'll see I've reread them multiple times so yeah we'll see how uh, how this goes I really really love to annotate all of these uh, fun fact a quarter mist and fairy is the only one that I have tabbed it's the only book I've ever tabbed and the only reason I tapped it was because I love that book so much. Uh, a book that I just recently read, Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. I would love to tap, I would love to annotate this. I love this book so much. Uh, another one I just recently read, Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. Yeah. I think this is what truly started it. Uh, I just finished reading this and Julie, of course, over from Pages and Pens, I'm going to keep, you know, uh, uh, I'm going to keep talking about her, but she just... Uh, posted her vlog for this and she annotated the crap out of it with um you know all of her uh like uh tabs and she wrote in it and everything and it just I yeah I think that's how I you know became really interested in it um any of Cassandra Clare's this is just Clockwork Angel but I think I really would like to go back and reread these and maybe annotate these as well uh, Carry On by hey, Rainbow Rowell. Hmm, I love this book. I've been meaning to reread this, so I would love to annotate that. As well as Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This would just be an yet another reread, but I don't care. I'd love to annotate that. Kiss of Deception by Mary Pearson. I love this book. And I've been really meaning to uh, pick these up. And also, talk, um, if you guys annotate, talk to me. What's better, paperback or hardback? Or does it not matter? Like, I've been really thinking about going back and rebuying books that um, I really want to get in, uh, that I have in hardback, but I want to get in paperback because I feel like it would be better, but I'm not entirely sure. You just tell me. If you guys annotate, what would be better? I also would really love to annotate Simon because, yes, I have reread this multiple times as well, and I would love to annotate the crap out of this too, and pretty much all of Becky Abertelli's. Probably even Leah, even though I didn't love Leah as much. Um, let's see, that's for last. Uh, I did just go out and buy Stranger Dreamer by Lainey Taylor, and if you did watch my book haul, this is the reason why I bought this. It's not exactly the reason why I bought this book, because I really did want this in paperback, because I love the paperback, but it just gave me a little bit more of an oomph to get it, because, well, I do want to annotate the shit out of it, so, we'll see. <sighs> I love this book. I really need to reread it too before Muse of Nightmares comes out, which is soon. Soon. Uh, let's see. Some more books. Obviously, I would love to go back and reread Harry Potter, though I've already reread it this month, and I would still love to go back and reread it again and annotate it this time. Uh, April from Aprilius Maximus. Uh, her first annotations are the Harry Potter series. I believe she's on. I believe she just finished Prisoner of Azkaban annotating that, so go and check her out too because they're all great. Um, I have, uh, let's see, I have some I just read this month as well. All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. Pretty much any Colleen Hoover. I love her books. And especially this one. Oh my god, this one made me cry so hard. I'd love to annotate that. Uh, this Adventure Ends. Julia over pages and pens said this is amazing and I trust her judgment and so I read it and loved it. Now I want to annotate it. Um, another one that I think really got me wanting to annotate was this series and that's The Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I want to go back and reread this so bad. I was supposed to reread this this month because there was a read-along going on um, hosted by I believe a Common Spence. I think that's his channel name. Spencer, if you guys know, then you know. Um, but um, he was doing a read-along for the series. Uh, the first one was this month, and the live show for this was on Saturday the 25th. I missed it. It's fine. I didn't get to rereading this anyway. I would love to just go back and reread this and annotate it. Though I do have two copies of this. I have this paperback copy that I read for the first time, and I have the collector's edition. I don't know. Do I do I annotate this one? Do I annotate that one? I don't know. 
Um, oh god, this one I love so much. Poison Study by Mary V. Snyder. I remember, I've, re re I've reread this like multiple times as well. And I would love to go back and reread it and annotate it. This is my favorite of the entire series. It's like a nine book series. And this is my favorite out of all of them. But I think just the first trilogy, I would love to annotate. I'm almost done, guys. Almost. Oh, okay. <sighs> Chill in the blood and bone, my toe, Mandy, I mean. I want to go and... Oh, I forgot to pick up uh, the, the Hate You Give. That one, too. And Fury Born by Claire Legrand. I think I... Yeah, I love that over there, too. I would love to annotate all these books. So, pretty much, once you see my favorites of the year, uh, at the end of the year or the beginning of next year, you all of those books will be on... will pretty much be... I'll be wanting to annotate. So, I don't know if I should get paper copies of those when they come out. Should I? Should I annotate those and keep my hardcovers pristine? Should I? You tell me. Uh, Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. This is another one I really want to pick up the paperback. Because I would really love to pick up the paperback and annotate that. Because I don't ha know how I feel about annotating the hardcovers. I just don't know. Because I'm already going to keep my hardcovers. They're gorgeous. So, <laughs> should I just go and get the paperbacks? I don't know. And then, obviously, Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I would love to go and annotate this. I also have multiple copies. This is the collector's edition. I just grabbed this because it was next to all the other ones. Um, but I do have the paperback edition, and I would be annotating that. Though, I don't know how I feel about rereading that right now. Because it's huge. Guys, it's huge. It's gorgeous. One of my favorite books ever. Also, last one. This is not a reread, though, which is why I left this one for last. I don't think I'm going to annotate this one at all until I read it and then see if I like it. I, I think I'm going to love it. Like, I literally predict that this is going to be a five star. I just got this today. It's Josh and Hazel. Uh, jo <coughs> Excuse me. This is Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren. I found this early, guys. It was so amazing. Check out my book haul. I talk about this book, my August book haul. It's already up. Go check it out. Um, but yeah, I got this freaking early, and I'm so happy. I just found this at the bookstore while I was walking around, and it was there on the shelf, and I, and I, I grabbed it. It was the only copy, and I grabbed it. Oh my god! I just want to read this now. Okay, but yeah, I really want to read this, and. If I love it, like I'm predicting I'm going to love it, I'm going to want to annotate it in all of Christine Lauren's other books. Because I just want to own all of her, I just want to annotate all of her books too. So she's like Christine, or she's like Colleen, they're like Colleen Hoover for me. I keep, Christine Lauren, if you didn't know, is a dual author. It's uh, Christina and Lauren. So it's not just one author. Keep saying she when I meant they, or when I mean they. So yeah, I just wanted to annotate all of their books along with Colleen Hoover's and probably some others. But yeah, th that was just a list. It's not even all of them, guys. I, I have so many more. <laughs> like, there's so many more books. But yeah, that's just some of them. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you annotate your books, uh, comment down below and tell me all about it. I would love to know your process on annotating. Um, again, I'll try to leave uh, links down below for Julie. Um, Julie, April, and uh, Chloe's channels. They're fantastic. Go check them out. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again in another video. Happy reading.